you have to try this project and subtask hack in Notion. Just like you have to try out Mastering Notion, my new course on how to master Notion and level up your life. Is that even the name? What I do know is we're gonna get back into building the Notion app system from scratch. And getting started with that, we actually have a projects database here. So I'm gonna show you a couple different things. First of all, what you need to make sure is that you have all of these different entities created. And if you wanna check out the last video, make sure you do that. It's in my playlist for building the Notion app system from scratch. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is related to your task database. So that database can be seen here. And these are all the different properties that are associated to it. So we're kind of having these two things match up here. And first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the link to this view and go here, make a new template, make it full width, add a little icon that's a wrench because for some reason that's what I think projects are. And then do a slash call to and then paste the link to view over here. Now, we're gonna make sure we do is that we copy and sync the sync header over here, go here, edit this to be called projects. I mean, call this desktop as well. And for the actions page, if we want, we can set it up as saying desktop as well. And this is just for template naming convention purposes. Going back in here, we're gonna paste in this, open it up and nestle this guy over here so it's not too big. Now what I do recommend you do, is you make a couple quality views for your projects. For this one, I'm actually going to rename it to be called my completed projects. You'll see why in a moment. But essentially, this assigned two section is gonna be here. We're gonna move this project timeline over here. I have the project manager, uh, actually project timeline assigned to project manager and the status here, and then hide everything else. We're gonna filter this to status is completed. Now, I always like to do advanced filters. It's just my preference, totally up to you. Now what we're gonna do is have a duplicated view that we're gonna call my current projects. Projects, so we're gonna filter this to status is not completed. And then we're gonna turn this into a board view. We're gonna order it in the way that these properties are set up. So not started, they're actually pretty self-explanatory. Not started, in progress, on hold, archived. So we got completed and archived. I'm gonna change the colors of these very quickly. So gray, little yellow action, little green, blue. All right, so now once I get it over to being not only is not completed or is not archived, then we're also gonna do a view for my archive projects and change this too is archived and change this filter to be not completed or archived. So now when you make a project, what properties do you wanna see? I'd probably wanna see the project timeline, uh, maybe the account manager, as well as the assigned to. Obviously it could be assigned to me, um, but I do think it's nice to see like if there's maybe a project manager that's associated to it that is not just you. And seeing the project timeline, which could be like this week in its entirety. Now, what is the hack? that I was gonna show you. It's gonna start here. First of all, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here and make a new template called new project. We're gonna call this guy, or we're gonna put another wrench because that's how I think. Um, we're gonna actually paste out another synced block here. We're gonna make this a full width page. We're gonna do slash call two again. Nestle this guy over to the left, move it over. And then what we're gonna do, which is in my opinion, a pretty cool hack, is we're gonna copy that task database. And we actually worked on this in the previous episode, but I'm gonna actually go to the actions page here, copy a view that I like, which would be my tasks, copy this view, or copy the this view actually, I like this one. Then within the template, once again, we get a new project. I like to set it as the default. We can jump right in here. We can paste this view in here. Now, why would we do this? Hmm, I wonder why. The reason for this is, what if I told you, you can set it up so that the filter would not only be assigned contains me, but the project would be related to the template. All right, let's see what we're let's see what we're working with here. So we got my tasks, then we have let's do my tasks overview, which is going to be what we currently have. And then let's filter this again to checkbox is unchecked. And let's duplicate this view and we'll call it all tasks remaining. Change the my tasks one to my tasks remaining, then take the my tasks overview and change it to all tasks overview. The reason for this is we're gonna basically take the filter and remove the me for when there's other people, remove the me for when there's other people. We're gonna make sure there's an assigned to property showing. Okay, cool. Now, what we have here is a view that essentially hacks the game a little bit. So when we go into the projects page, we actually are pretty well set up. This is kind of how we want it to be. 
Um, you can essentially do the exact same thing where you set it to assign to as me, and then you can have the opposite of this, right? So you can duplicate the my current projects to all current projects and then remove the me filter and go through down the line of this in general. So you can see it for your entire uh, team as well. And if you want to have consistent naming conventions, you can do a, a current projects in like parentheses so that it's less text. Uh, and then you could actually do it so that uh, it's M hyphen or M like this M hyphen or A hyphen to make it shorter. Uh, whatever your preference is, it just like kind of helps out with uh, shorter naming conventions um, or arc projects or comp projects where you don't even have to put the projects at the end. You can put like all archived. That's an example. Then you see that I have to add the filters to assign to contains me for the personal ones. Filter assigned to contains me. If we want to clean up the views, just change this to my current. I completed my archived. Just delete all these project names and then it cleaned up the views a little bit. So we got this showing you pretty much everything that you need from like a mine versus everyone else's standpoint slash overall because it could include you. But we have a desktop view made for the projects now. So we can make a new item here, pick the projects one, remove this little desktop appendage and make the sorting number three. Or uh, in this case, probably, uh, yeah, three is fine. We'll show you why in a sec. But basically we now have a projects and a task page. But what was the reason that I set up that whole system uh, within the project template? That would be because say I were to make a new project, since now it's default is to make this, you'll see if I jump into it for one, if I open it as a full page, we can quickly go back to the projects page by navving there. But also the filter now changed to new project. And it's like, all right, well, no, it's not actually grabbing this, is it? It is. So let's do an example, uh, NAS from scratch course. That's right, NAS from scratch course. So if I want to do something like hi, write out video scripts, and then write out or record videos, and then edit videos and schedule videos, and then even make another example for like create thumbnails. We have the exact same system set up and you could change it obviously to uh, not show the projects for these views as that would make sense since you're already in the current project and that can be done within the uh, template once again. So that was nice to showcase it from the uh, homepage, but not nice to showcase it from within the project. So all you need to do to fix that, would do what I just did by going to the projects page, I'm fixing this template, just going here, and tweaking these right there. But as you can see, if I go into this right here, I can quickly make a timeline for this week to the end of next week. Then within this, I could change the assigned property to not me, and then that would disappear from here. However, I am the one recording the videos, so um, that would be me. But then I'm not the one editing the thumbnails or the videos, so I can remove that and add it to somebody else. The same goes for scheduling and creating the thumbnails. And if you wanted to, you could even group this by people um, rather than by uh, the priority is over here for your own task, but you can like group the task for all by assigned to so that people, you have like a project management overview from like a, a project manager standpoint, because this would be all given to my editor, Vinicius. And this is just a nice little hack to have all of your projects and tasks Align. Projects and subtests are totally possible. This is a very easy way to do it. Uh, I think it just takes two different databases to connect them together and just have a setup that makes sense for you with quality priority principles. It's also very easy for you to move on to this next video in my wonderful catalog of videos on how to be more productive right here.